everyone welcome back to my channel this is Trish Spirit and today I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I made step by step this Ottoman aka Hasak what I'm sitting on right now that I'm sitting on right now so step but this is a step by step video like basically this is a tutorial every single thing that I did to make this Ottoman this is actually a storage Ottoman this is a storage ottoman. It has button details at the front. A five button detail at the front. It has inches so that it opens and closes. It's and it does in fact have a storage compartment. So you can throw your clothes in there, so throw your sheets in there. I mean you can put basically anything except for dirty laundry when I need not ear in there. <laughs> So basically, yeah, you can store your shoes in here. You can store a lot of things in here. It's a um, 18 by 18 ottoman. So basically, it does have a lot of space. And I'm going to show you how I single-handedly made this ottoman. It is really plush and cush. It is extraordinary. And we added some extra details to it. See there? I'll put some extra details at either sides. So it's really comfortable, it's really plush, and here we go guys, a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I made this ottoman, or hasak. So this is two sides of the ottoman, this is two sides of the ottoman, and the top of the ottoman. So let's go, let's get it cut. So this is our power tool that we're going to use for the ottoman. I'm just going to use this and cut right across. Very good. <laughs>
still imperative nonetheless. Let's go. Strengthen it further when you finish securing it. But the important part is really securing it. So I'm just straighten up the nail there. What the? <laughs> okay, so put it another nail. Okay, and um, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and secure the sides up here. what we have so far I'm gonna use this sticky wallpaper for the inside and this is how I'm measuring it like I'm just judging the inside by the outside just putting it near to it and then I'm just gonna use this I use this for my eyebrows so I'm just gonna come across like so and put it right across on the edge of 
the ottoman and then I'm just gonna peel it off easy it up a little bit remember we're well, trying we're well, not professionals <laughs> okay so there we go so I'm just gonna cut it right down use my scissors and cut it we are going to need this removable leg wheel add inches to it so that makes it that enables it to open and close as you will see later on in the video this is the fabric that i'm going to use uh, we're going to use our c5500 patex glue and i'm using this sponge to just tap the glue on to the surface of the ottoman the plywood surface of the ottoman so see this is the c5500 i'm gonna just pour a little onto the cover like so and um go ahead and tap the sponge into it guys just please allow this to quail allow the glue to cure for a couple of minutes around um five eight max and then you get your sponge onto it after ensure that you add a good amount a generous amount of glue to the edges because you know you want your sponge to really stick there so this is what i'm doing for that there this is how i'm tapping it along come closer closer close up and see see that's how i'm tapping it Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do another side while that side quails a little bit. I don't want to dip too much into the glue. That's why I went ahead and um, poured a little into the cover of the Patex C5500. So, this is how I'm doing it. Up fast. In that tapping motion because you don't want any of your C5500 to dry. Okay. So we're going to add, check this layer, check this side, see how the coiling is going. Okay, it's pretty good. So just going to put this right on. Put it over. See, it's, it's beginning to really stick nicely. I'm gonna come over like so. I wanna ensure that the Ottoman make it lie down on this part all right so i'm just gonna use my leg to just secure this part um while i'm tapping the glue this heavy duty stapling gun is just gonna be used to secure the foam onto the second onto the ottoman this is the second layer of foam that we're gonna go all the way around with remember we can't use glue on it because the glue is just going to really get dry and kind of thing and then just it's not going to last the life of the ottoman or the padding of the ottoman if you use glue on it so just use your staple gun so i'm just gonna go all the way around we're gonna go from the top with this hold on to the edge of this the edge so we put one staple here and then we're gonna put a second staple there Remember we started from the edge that was not secured, so we're just gonna put another staple there to make sure that it's secured all the way around. So, bring it as close as possible. And put that up there. Another staple here. Two staples. Pull our fabric. We pull our fabric. Uh, uh, yeah, pull our sponge a little bit. Well, my father. All right, come again. 
again with the staple. Boom. One. Two. Okay. Gonna, we're not going to stop at the extreme edge with this one. So, we're going to come where it overlaps to ensure that everything is stapled down. I have to go over this one again. Thank you, Mr. Staple Gun. Get our scissors. Cut off the excess. Cut it about three inches off on estimation. And, um, yeah. So that is the base. And, um, we're just gonna come over. Draft with a staple gun again. And press him down. See? Take a closer look. So I just pleated it on and just stapled it down. So we're gonna go at the side. Mr. Staple gun. Be careful because that move that I just spilled a while ago, it could have ended up in my feet, in my knee, right? So you have to be careful to ensure that your staple gun is directly on your wooden surface. And to do that, you can pull a method like this and thus come down closer and just get your foam over. Overlap, see? Just pull it over like so. Alright, 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 pull the pleated method again, where you overlap this, the corner area, go again, staple, and then lay it down, when you come to the corner, it's imperative that you pull, it will make it overlap, then I want to big and bulge and ugly, come again, bring it and overlap bring it down pull down this section overlap exactly the corner so you pull that i'm going to use the um half inch foam sponge and wrap over this so we don't feel the edges of this as we go I'm going to come to you this I'm just gonna pull down the middle, pull down the center of it, and staple the center of it. So I'm pulling it down like so. There we go. And we have that button look. So now we're gonna flip it over, ensure that the fabric doesn't go all over the place, and um, we're securing it from in the middle sections. So, good, this is how I'm gonna secure it. There. I'll secure it from like so. We can actually be as free as possible with these edges because they are fabric, so we can be as free as possible with these edges. And um, I'm gonna come down my own grease so that's why I'm not talking like so anyway <laughs> so I'm gonna come down and lap a bit keep it keep it neat as neat as possible and I'm coming in the middle of here you notice we have a little too much fabric here because we could have balanced it out with that side, but not to worry, that's fine. And come down, press. This is just tacking it around for the final finish, guys. This is not it being fit, being completed. So, I'm just gonna do a little tufted look, then press it all the way down. 
all right there we go and then we're gonna come again and press it all the way down ah takes a lot of energy guys i'm gonna come again measure it to this and come all the way down i have one of those circular needles that you use to sew hair you sew hair and now my thing I'm not sure what else you saw with this, but here I'm going to use a saw. Right. I secured the corner edges with the staple gun before hair. sewing. A bit off, so we're going to sew it around now. So this is what we did with the back of the lid. I just neaten it up around and sew and sew and sew and we put a little tack here in the middle. <laughs> we put a little tack here in the middle. So this is the lid. So we are completely finished with the lid now. I might add some buttons inside. I might add some buttons inside to finish it off. You know, tie it to look extra good there. So. But right now, we're done with this. Only thing left to do with this, I put two inches here. So. So you can open and close it as we please and sit on at the same time. So I could put that one side and I could just deal with this now. It's I've already cut. I've already cut um the fabric. I've already cut the fabric to go around it. Okay, so we we just put it started putting on the fabric so now we'll go reinforce it when we start. One down there so one ear so bring this down bring the fabric to as tight as possible so to my joy with my needle pull it with my needle down there and now come around take it around and then come back make sure that your fabric is nice and properly situated nice and neat on the ottoman that you're doing come back around again see that so we're just going to cut off the excess we're gonna come underneath it now fold under about two inches i have that much allowance to fold under so folded that under um it's gonna reinforce it another time around here so so we're gonna do go again bend under Okay, we have another edge here. Come with our staple gun, and we're just gonna pull right around. Give this another reinforcement, and then we're gonna come around again. Another reinforcement. We're gonna pull this underneath. We're gonna pull this again I'm gonna pay close attention guys pay close attention and get your very own storage ottoman done and looking absolutely fabulous it's gonna look great in your house guys I promise you okay so we're putting in one more and another over here and another in here voila let's pull this is the base of our ottoman guys this is the base of our ottoman and we're gonna come over and all of this is going to be folded under clear off the selvage the selvage is the part where the fabric frays that's where all the threading of the fabric comes so there it is and I'm just gonna finish up this and then come back and show you guys how I completed it 
All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish here. So now, this is the final of the Ottoman sides. A, a, a little idea just came to my mind to do about them. So I'm just gonna put them at the sides like so. So I folded it back and I'm gonna bend this under here and put it inside. Just gonna fold it underneath. Use the staple gun and hold it down times two and come up you have to do two staples there because you know it has to be swung trunk <laughs> it has to be trunk you have to deal with it trunk okay so come all the way it has to be so tight you come all the way down All right, so this is it at the base. I'm gonna staple here and staple there, and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna use the scissors to cut the excess, leave around Tom um, an inch or so, and stuck it. Use the same scissors, stuck it underneath, and stuck it underneath. Did that myself, so. This was pretty cool. This is it. We have the bands at either side. This is it right here. Screws. One inch screws. And we're going to also use this. Um, where's my Phillips screwdriver? We're going to use this Phillips screwdriver to drive in the screws. So, from either side, we locate the ply. So, you see, it closes on this. So, I mean, usually I'd use the hammer to knock a little bit, but it's still going to end up the same place. So, screw it in with some force. Okay, it's the first screw. And the second screw. Okay, so there it is. The first one and then the second one we're gonna put it right here. So you check the side on which it opens and closes. Otherwise you have to have your thing on open outside like a room door. <laughs> so apply some force and get it screwed all the way in. All the way inside the plywood all the way down inside the plywood so after this we're going to screw the inches and the bottom of the ottoman on the lid of the ottoman so here is the lid of the ottoman i'm resting it on my leg I'm resting it on my leg getting another screw search the plywood so we locate the plywood here we press it down so I press it down we have to ensure that when we push down our screw we have feel the plywood with we have feel the plywood with the screw if you're not feeling it with the screw you don't want to screw it inside the source of fabric so you have to ensure that you feel it with the screw as I have just now so sit there So tighten. Ouch! There we go. This, ladies and gentlemen, is our Ottoman. This is our do-it-yourself Ottoman. You have seen this on do-it-yourself DIY Trish Spirit. We made this Ottoman from scratch. Ensure that it opens, closes for your storage needs. You saw this on DIY Trish. So there we go. Sit down, it's firm. It's firm. It's a seater plus it's storage. 
So please stay tuned to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe if you have not already. Thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. Mwah. Yes, so please subscribe, comment, and um, share your opinions as well. Hit the thumbs up button. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Bye.